was just solid black back there and I told him it was coming and then we run to the the hallway in their house and that's the only thing that saved us. You know? It's unreal. At the church where Gene Kanzler has attended all of his life. I just told her destruction, you know, it's it's no repairing this. This is the first time he uses his video camera to record something other than a Sunday morning sermon. It's something you hope you never see. See it on TV, but you know, it's hard to believe it can happen, you know, at your, at your home. Several state, local, and private agencies are joining hands now to help families displaced by the wave of storms. Channel 4's Darian Trotter is live at the Churches of Christ Disaster Relief Warehouse with more. And Demetria, the warehouse is closed right now, but in the morning the operation will run like clockwork as dozens of volunteers work to pack boxes of food for families. We've got a large crew here today, as you can see, and they're working. And uh, what we're trying to do is get uh, about 1,500 boxes together. It's just a wonder to have all these people and to think of all the people that we'll be able to help as a result of this. Whether it's a flood, a tornado, or a hurricane, when disaster strikes in the continental United States, the Churches of Christ disaster relief effort is ready to respond. Truckloads of emergency food, water, cleaning, and other supplies are sent to congregations for distribution to victims in the disaster areas. The Churches of Christ disaster relief effort began in 1991. Joe Dudney is the executive director. You see, uh, we have supplies available on, on the pallets here. We don't have to pass the hat and get cash. It's already here. We're ready to go. And of course, we, we're buying it every day to, to replace what's on the shelf. But we're, we're always got it on the shelf, ready to go. Three loads went out of here last Tuesday, going in, to the flooded people. So and we are still going after it. And we're gonna go back to them. We're gonna stay with it till we get everybody uh, taken care of. We'll also be shipping beds and appliances and that kind of thing at a, a little later date. There is no organization that I feel more confident with uh, than this one. They respond to every major disaster. Right now, we are in uh, David Lipscomb University at their summer celebration. As you can tell by the display in the background, we're here telling the, the people what disaster relief is all about. The floodwaters came so fast, hundreds of residents had nowhere to go but up. In parts of North Texas, up to 10 inches of rain fell this morning in just a few hours. Natasha Collins tried to escape by boat with her four-year-old daughter. I had her and we were in the boat and our boat capsized. Her daughter drowned. When was the last time you saw her? When the current took her out of my arms. Even here in Nashville, we just suffered a major flooding, uh, unparalleled as far as this area is concerned. So you never know what's going to happen in your community. And so when it does, you need to be prepared. For those of you who have never lived through it, it, until you live through it, you really don't know what it feels like. Terry Hobach was home just minutes before the storm hit. His daughter and granddaughters were supposed to be home, but he could not find them when he arrived there. And I went back there, thought they might be in it. And I come out of there and made it to the kitchen. That everything come down on top of them. And The houses mean nothing. The family means everything. Everything. Oh, I'll tell you, Geraldo, it's going to be an uh, incredible disaster. Mm -hmm. I know how those people are down there, and, uh, and I'd like for somebody to help me in, in case something happens like that to me. While church food pantries and clothing rooms are a great benevolence outreach, when a major disaster strikes, local congregations are often overwhelmed in how best to respond to the need. The Churches of Christ disaster relief effort can help. 
by providing large quantities of pre-boxed relief supplies for distribution to victims in the disaster area. I would not hesitate one minute to work with uh, disaster relief. Uh, they have a super organization. Uh, the folks we talk with and uh, uh, that communicate with us are super to work with. Uh, they really work through the efforts of the local congregation. They bring the supplies to you and let you distribute them. They're one of the best uh, things going in the Brotherhood. These boxes and this relief stuff, we were able to, because we were able to get it so quick, we were able to become a center um, for distribution uh, in our community. I appreciate Disaster Relief's role in that, helping us to be able to, to do that. Just, I mean, it's overwhelming. It's, it's nice, you know, it's nice to see the looks on their faces when they walk away with food and the things they need. There were too many tornadoes to count, and by daylight, too much rubble to search as the death toll ticked upward throughout most of today. This roar just goes through your whole body. It, it's just, uh, and you know it's above you somewhere, and you don't know where it's going to come down when it's dark. From Kentucky to Alabama, the violent storm system unleashed tornadoes across seven states. The uh, Churches of Christ disaster relief effort truck arrived and it's being uh, downloaded and we will be dispensing that to the neighborhood. They know that uh, uh, our hearts are in the right place if we're working uh, with the community and with Churches of Christ disaster relief effort in this way. And I really appreciate the water, thank you. And we have seen many tear-filled eyes and uh, choking voices and folks asking for whatever help we can give. There are four things that make uh, this organization a success. Uh, one is the cash to carry it on. Two is uh, the volunteers to do what we do. And three is this facility. And four is the staff that we have. Even our truck drivers, I can't say enough about them. Our truck drivers are volunteers. And so uh, it's just uh, unbelievable. <laughs> We're on the corner of Charlotte Pike and Moreau Road, and you can see the parking lot of the Pet Boys behind me flooded. Cars are floating everywhere. The dumpster trash floating in the streets. People are trapped inside stores. You can see they're climbing on roofs. There's a water rescue going on right now. God's amazing grace. This is what this is right here. I'm Lynn Cook, Director of Development for the Churches of Christ Disaster Relief. It has been my job for some 12 years to travel extensive throughout the United States, speaking on behalf of what we do and how we respond in time of disaster. We've recently acquired the assistance of men situated in strategic areas throughout the United States to help me to better acquaint you and to communicate with you as to what we stand for and what we do. Dwayne Castile, a veteran gospel preacher, is working in the Northeast. Chuck Evans, a veteran gospel preacher who also has worked in our warehouse for a number of years, is working in the Midwest. We're hoping that you'll be able to contact us, that you might learn more of what Churches of Christ Disaster Relief uh, really stands for and what it does in time of major disaster. This week we've been uh, providing uh, supplies, materials uh, to uh, victims of the flood here in, in Davidson County. We was down at River Park. We was flooded out. Yeah. Okay. We, we flooded out. We lost every single thing. We have nothing but clothes. We was able to save a lot of clothes because I stuffed them up in the closet. But Annette, the, the water was here. Mm -hmm. So we lost, we lost everything. We, we seek help to help us to... Um, to, to get a lot of things that we lost, and it was a blessing that they would the shred lane here to help us to get up on our feet. There's people that really, really need. Amen. 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 There's people that really need this. We really need this stuff. Mm -hmm. I just think it's something everybody ought to get involved in. I think they ought to do something that they can help someone else, don't you? I get the pleasure of knowing maybe I've helped someone along the way.
We've heard lots of responses and they're all very positive.